Voters are driving through, walking up, and placing their ballots on this election day. People are running for office, so there's candidates, etc. And then there is a measure for the county library, and the library measure goes throughout the rest of the county. So almost half of Stanislaus County only has one little question on it uh, for the library. Measure S is asking voters in Stanislaus County to extend an existing 1/8% library sales tax. There are three open seats on the city council that residents are voting on, and there is Measure T. It would establish a cannabis business tax on all cannabis businesses within the city. Supporters say it could generate $1 million a year. We definitely should uh, should get reap some benefits from it. We have ballots received back from about 35,000 so far. The Stanislaus County Registrar of Voters calls this a paste election. She says they have received 35,000 mail-in ballots and she is hopeful more people will vote. Honestly, the last election, the uh, presidential election has uh, built a fire under me. I need to I need to get out and do my do my duty and vote. Marcel Avila says he has learned every vote counts. I was always a uh, you know, pretty apathetic towards it and thought my vote didn't matter, but clearly it, it, it does. In a presidential election, Stanislaus County usually gets more of a 70% turnout. In a district election like this, it's more local things, so it's more specific to the voters. So we'll see a lesser turnout of like 20%. And the polls here are open until 8 o'clock this evening. And a reminder, a mail-in ballot that is postmarked by today could be received up to three days later Later, and it still will count. In Modesto, Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News.